Hey everyone, Christos here with Better at BI. Today I want to show you how to use DAX to calculate a distinct number that's based on a filter, right? So basically a subtotal that's based on a filter, and then create another calculation to give you the percentage of the whole for that new number. Let's go to let's go to the screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we're looking at my accident data. If you're familiar with this from other stuff that I've done, but what are we looking at? We are looking at all the neighborhoods. Let's just, let's filter out our neighborhood, right? So we're looking at Avondale. There were 5,700 accidents that happened in this time. And the weather's for all the weather. If I hit this drop down box, if you're looking at how many accidents happened in the snow, a simple filter like this, boom, it gives you that information. But that's all it really gives you. If you want to look at the road condition, like ice, now a simple filter like this shows you that number. But if you want to determine what percentage of its of Avondale's accidents happened where the weather was snow and the road conditions were ice, you're going to have to do some calculations. So let's let's reset these calculations, these formulas for just a second. So accident count. That's the first calculation I created. What is that exactly? That's a simple calculation that says, hey man, give me a distinct count where of the instance IDs. Perfect, all right, 5,700. Now let's go down here. The next thing is we got to figure out how many accidents happened in the snow. So I'm going to bring in this snow accident row. Um, this shows, this is a simple formula. What's it saying? Hey, calculate distinct count of instance ID where the weather was snow. Seems simple, seems like it makes sense. Let's give it a shot. Yoink, 231, okay, hey boss man, 231. Oh, but wait, that's not right. Let me go to this screen for a second. You see here, you see this instance ID? This is the same accident. However, there were three people involved in this accident. So there's actually three rows here. So this 231 that you saw is not the distinct count. It's actually the rows. So there's 231 rows. If the question here is how many accidents, how many people were involved in accidents in Avondale that happened in the snow, 231 is your number. But you want to know accidents. So let's go to this no, um, I'm sorry, this snow accident instance ID. What is that? So this is me creating an if statement. If the weather equals snow, then give me the instance ID. Fair enough, easy enough. Let's bring that over. There it is. Now I want to I want to show you a couple of things. First, this kind of verifies. So this instance ID actually has two row counts, right? So we see that. Here's something else that you see. Power BI is saying, hey bud, you asked me, let's highlight this calculation again. Power BI is saying, you're asking me to look if there is a, uh, uh, if, if the weather equals snow. And if it is, you give me the instance ID, but you're not telling me to do anything else here. So I'm gonna bring back a row of null values because, well, that, that counts for something, right? After all, you want the accident counts to be there. So you can see I've got all these rows and then that one blank row, right? Let me clean this up for just one second. So now let me make this a count. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So you, you can see I've got 128. Now wait, what happens if I go to filter and I just say, I don't want anything except weather equals snow. Well, now that number is 127. Do you see how Power BI is doing stuff? I'm going to clear this out. So what I did here was I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to go to this snow accident D count. What did I do there? So I created my initial calculation to say, hey, just look in this field, and if it exists, give me the instance ID. Right? And then I made this distinct count field. Now I'm going to bring that sucker in. What that field is saying is, um, give me the distinct count where the, where the row is not blank. Give me that distinct count of the snow accident instance ID. 
Now that number is 127. If I remove the filter, right now we have an accurate count of how many accidents happened in each neighborhood when it was snowing. Right? Now we want to create what the percentage. What percentage is, is 127? So I have this rate of snow accident where I'm doing a calculate the snow accident decount divided by the accident. I'm going to bring that in for a second. Boom. 2.22 accidents. 2.2% of all accidents that happened in Avondale happened when it was snowing. All right? And then again, it kind of goes down the list. So for a total of 2.15 accidents happened over this period of time in Cincinnati in the snow. Not too shabby, actually. Now, let's add on another field. I want to look at how many, how many accidents happened when it was snowing and there was ice on the ground. So the first thing we have to do is create a calculation that finds all those incidents of, that meet that criteria. Here you go. If, so basically we're going to say if, now hold on, and the weather equals snow and the road conditions are ice, then give me the instance ID. Here's a little weird thing about that. Right? I could do an if with a bunch of different stuff, but if I did this if and, so this and here wraps up, this creates an and statement. You can also use the word or here if you want to do an or statement, right? If it was snowing or raining, right? If it was night or, you know, whatever, right? You could do that this way. So basically, again, if it's snow and ice, then give me the instance ID. Right? So I'm going to bring that in again. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I created, again, another um, D count. So here, same calculation, distinct count, no blank, of the snow and ice incident count. Let me bring that stuff in. So it looks like over the course of time of the, uh, of the uh, 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 5,700 accidents that happened in Avondale, 18 happened when it was snow and road conditions were icy. So what's the percentage of that? So again, just like the last calculation, boom. So 0.31% of all the accidents that happened in Avondale happened when there was snow, the weather was snowy, and the road was icy. Now, let's be honest. DAX is not the easiest soft, the easiest language to learn. It's not the most complicated, but it's going to need a little bit of work. What I just showed you was kind of like the big hammer of play. You know, I created multiple calculations and I'm doing a lot of different steps here. But the intent of this exercise isn't to make you a DAX expert, it's to solve your problem, it's to get you where you need to be quickly. There's a lot of other great resources out there that can show you how to do some really awesome DAX code. And we're gonna, head, we're gonna touch those in other videos. But for Power BI Friday, I wanted a quick, easy video, and I hope you liked this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or you'd like to take a deeper dive, please put something in the comment, or you can reach me at Power BI, uh, I'm sorry, better at BI.com. Again, my name is Christos. I really hope you like this video, and I'll see everyone later.